supposed to grab and throw him into the thing, but I think that's it. Is that it? What is that light? Alman is starting up. What? Ada! Don't come in! Dingo, this is... Get out of here! You cannot escape from Alman's radiating energy. What should I do? By blowing up Jyoti, the reactor will lose control. The resonance of energy will cancel each other out. No! Ada! It is my duty. Switching mode. I am ready to blow up Jehuti to complete 200. No! Leo! Ah! Really? The light is constricting. It's too late. Impossible. 190 remaining. Don't give up! Ada, radiate Jehuti's energy and strike it against the core of Alman. That's not enough. If it doesn't work, do whatever you please. 180 remaining. But don't just wait to die. On. Okay, so did I get the bad ending? 170 remaining. Ah! 160 remaining. I think I got the bad ending. Yep, I got the bad ending. Oh well. Did I not get the bad Oh wait, did I not get the bad ending? Knocked over my water bottle there. Hey, it's closed. So, um, Mars is down a moon. <clears throat> Leo's like, the hell am I over here?
Now, if somebody could deactivate the life support thing, so, or, uh, not deactivate, but transfer me to an actual life support module, as opposed to just having me dependent on the cockpit, that would be nice. Dingo! Get me a relief party! <laughs> Leo. I used Anubis. If Jehuti and Anubis were even, the ignition power would be even too. That thing is better suited for that role. Did I disobey orders? Never mind, Ada. What? It's okay. Use power for the right things. At least for the things that you believe in. <laughs> so who's second hand? Your father. There we go. I'm in an actual life support this bed time now. Make my body normal. Don't you like it as it is? <sighs> I'd rather That's not. Way too big. Yeah. You got it. I trust you. A minor case of doll for writing if, if the translation of the script was a little better. Or, you know, just in Japanese. Bardo, I swear, sounds a, a lot like Steve Bloom. Like, uh, I feel like Peter Bardo would be Steve Bloom's um, non-union role stage name, but in any case. So, that was Zone of the Enders 2, that I think. Eh, it's alright. I'm glad I played it. Drop the volume down a little bit. Will I talk? It was okay. Like the right, the problem with the game is the localization. Like it has a story that I feel like would be much stronger if it were localized better. If the translation was better, this is definitely one of the cases of like translation making or breaking a game. Um, and I can't really say as like, or if you have a bad translation, to a degree, having an option for a Japanese language dub in a case like this would help make up for it, because then you're not hearing the people in your native language speaking words or, or phrasing that doesn't fit with what would be said in your native language, if that makes sense. Um, and that's what hurts again. That, the character design for several of the African-American characters who we encountered earlier also ain't great either because they're using very... Problematic character design traits, which numerous other anime works, even at this time, had really started eschewing. Um, using less of the character designs, I guess what I would say, or design traits that were used, like, I'll put it this way as. They fall into some of the Mr. Popo traps. If you're familiar with Dragon Ball Z, you are familiar with the character Mr. Popo and how that character uses incredibly racist traits 
for the character design. Um, it directly calls back to um, 1800s minstrel, gra like minstrel show art and that sort of thing. Um, not like evoking blackface in respects and that sort of thing. Dragon Ball Z was in the 90s, and that was already gross then. When they and this is the 2000s, this is not this show is not no this game is not unique in the respect of covering that. Um, in terms of that, for example, um, Sonic X has character designs for the uh, a made character, where it's also similar really bad in the same ways. And I think this is also definitely the game where uh This is the point where the like the game where design adjustments to not just the PlayStation 4, 3, and 4 controllers, 3, 4, and 5 controllers, but also like the PS2, like, like the PS3 controller for the HD remaster as well, um, runs into problems with the trigger design and with analog triggers that are designed to work really great for... Um, that work great for racing games, that work great even for shooters. But when they run into what they're trying to do for Zone of the Enders 2, which was designed for the PlayStation 2 controller, which I have one handy over here. As you will notice, does not have the same free of movement. It's a very it's a digital it's a digital button. You can have a degree of English on it, for lack of a better term, or analogness to it by holding on the button longer, but it's still, it has still has less travel to it. And I think, like for a game like this, if you just dialed up the sensitivity all the way, that would make things easier, but this doesn't do that. So let's look at our final score. rank yeah probably the facility event is what did me dirt 749 48 that's not a bad go for myself um any like end game trophy no, it appears not to be the thing. So that is the game. So let's switch over to just me. All right. And so next time, um, I will be switching from a big PlayStation console to a much smaller one. As I will be taking as I'll be starting a Let's Play of well tactics ogre let us cling together because i'm vaccinated lots of other people are vaccinated so maybe we can get a little closer see you next week Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe. And also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any f future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. Uh, toss me a few bucks. Also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that.